So today is the start of installing our water drinkers. They're going to be the most complicated water drinkers ever installed on a dairy farm. Um, but today is just going to be the simple part. Replacing the water drinkers which have been there for 17, 27 years. Replacing them water drinkers with our new stainless steel water drinkers and I'm going to run you over the principle of what makes these the most complicated water drinkers to ever be installed on a dairy farm at the end of the video. It's going to be part one of a two part series. Second part of this video is going to be all about the tech, installing the solenoids, the flow meters, why I'm doing all of that and getting it all up and running and tested. Every single drinker is getting a control board like this, which I designed and manufactured. And the printed circuit boards, which this is all put on, is manufactured by a company called PCBWay. And they have very generously agreed to sponsor both parts of this project. So this is the old drinkers. They have been in here 27 years. And do not judge how dirty these are. I cleaned this out like two weeks ago. And during winter, I have to bucket these out like once a week to try to keep the water clean in them. This is why they're being replaced, because I'm fed up bucketing water out of these all of the time. I also have a project I've been involved with for the last 10 months now on a beef farm. And that project is measuring water intake of individual animals on that farm. And what we found was there's a huge variation in water intake per animal. I'd done a bit of reading, looked into the research. Water intake is really, really important. So I'm spending the money and I'm changing these to nice stainless steel drinkers. There is one already installed over there. We done that yesterday. It would have made a terrible video. I spent at least an hour of the two hours to install it, running around trying to get tools we didn't know we needed. So. We're going to video the replacement of this one today. There is also two more to go in at the back of the cow house down there. We'll see how we get on. I might video them as well. For now, first job, drain this drinker, bring in the JCB and get it shoved out the door somehow. Where is the rope? It's on the other side. Let me move you around. Where's my life? <sighs> I have to go for another turn. Never find what you want. We're using pipe cutters. Yeah, works perfectly. So we have two options. I can either be careful and pull it out with a belt, or I can just sort of poke it out with the forks. So we're going to go with the poke it out method and not the belts. I was going to make a video about these, I would have tried to convince them to give me a discount, <laughs> but these drinkers were bought from a company called Condon Engineering. They were by far the cheapest out of everyone I priced for these, and they seem like they'll be 100%. They're obviously upside down now, um, but they have a drain valve on the bottom which allows you to quickly drain them. It is a manual valve that comes with them. My plan is to replace that with an electric valve and do the whole draining, refreshing the water all automatically. But we'll get to that in part two of this video. Today is all about getting these installed into the cow house. I need to actually get on and do some work and stop talking to a camera. Okay, just setting up a shot so you can see how strong I am as I carry the drinker over. It's not even heavy! What are the odds the plug socket right beside us actually works? <sighs> Can you read that? I can't see what that says. Is that the plugs? <sighs> Boom. Mm -hmm. 
just figured out that the microphone I was wearing was not working. It's working now, so I'm obviously not redoing that. Right, we're ready to drill these holes, get this arm mounted. I'm gonna go through the wall, stick the big threaded rod through, get this one tightened up and third, set this drinker on, measure the second one, bolt it in, pipe it up, first drinker done. So I need the giant drill bit. How did I do that? But I've now wrapped this in green roll, so I'm going to have to wear gloves. So you'll excuse me. Hello, I'm down now. So this is to see how good we are at installing things. And it is, you said it was spot on, it's not. It's not. No, you're gonna get a lot of abuse. Snickers not far away now. <laughs> also, we tried to square it and put it in the center. Clearly it is not in the center, but we will not worry about that. It's filling very slowly. I'm not sure why. This video is going to be way too long already. That is the second water drinker installed. I'm going to go and find an extension cable and I'm going to install the two at the back of the cow house. Once they're done later on this evening, I'll give you a little update on the finished drinkers with the cows in the house and we'll see how they're getting on. It is three of the four drinkers installed. Tomorrow we have a final drinker to install at that far end of the house and we also have to then make a start on all of the pipe work. There's 50 mil pipe coming from the milking parlor into the shed. That 50 mil pipe is then going to be broken down into 25 mil pipe to feed every drinker. There's tons of solenoid valves to go on and flow meters to go on. We'll be able to tell how much water each individual drinker is taking along with each side of the cow house. The idea then will be that we can automatically drain a drinker if we detect that the cows are not drinking as much as they should from it. We will assume it's dirty. If that works, that's great. We can do that as a method to drain these. If that does not work, we still have the option of shutting off the water supply, draining each individual drinker, refilling it, and doing them all in sequence. So I never have to actually drain them manually. Absolute overkill. 100% agree. This is as much a learning experience for me, trying to develop something new as it is actually useful. But we will see. I'm gonna build some nice software around it. We'll get into the code, we'll get into the electronics, everything like that. Um, that's coming in part two, which will be tomorrow and Saturday and maybe Monday in real life. But in YouTube life, that will be the video for next week. So again, just to say thank you to PCBWay who've sponsored this project. Their PCBs, which they manufactured for me, are the backbone of how all of this is gonna work. If this does develop into a commercial product, they'll be the ones who are building the PCBs. I've worked with this company for years. They have been my supplier of PCB for PCBs for years. They're extremely reliable, extremely fast, great customer service. Cannot speak highly of them enough. There's a link down in the description if you want to look at what they can offer you, PCBs, 3D prints, tons of stuff more, more. Go check them out. The next video, which is coming next week, we're gonna get into the details of how I designed the PCBs, the code which is running all this, 
the installation of the pipework, the solenoid valves, the flow meters. It's going to be a much longer video than this, much more detailed. I have probably eight days to record that video. This video is recorded in one. So subscribe, like this video, come back next week to see part two where we really get into the detail. And hopefully by this time next week, we'll have the whole system set up and I'll be able to show you it all in action. Mm-hmm.